that's not, what's that? Nothing. Spark. <laughs> "'Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hope that St Nick would soon be there. He's making a list and he's checking it twice. He's going to find out who's naughty and nice. Surely he's in breach of data protection law. The elf on the shelf must be the last straw. But sending Santa a letter might be an opt-in. Unless, of course, he just throws the data in the bin. And will Santa make it through, what with Brexit and all? Is there freedom of movement for those from the North Pole? Without your customs union must each present be checked and each of the reindeers looked over by a vet? Surely we'll be fine, there's always the backstop. There will be no hard border with guards or a cop. Barnier, Tusk and Merkel said it's true, but can Theresa get a pass with a majority so few? Leave or remain, it's Christmas just the same. A time of joy for some, for others deep pain. The festive tunes begin. The boys in the NYPD choir, chestnuts roasting on that open fire. Wizard, Wham, Buble and Band-Aid. And of course it's Christmas from our friend Slade. But surely there's more to this season than Santa and songs. There's more to Christmas for which every heart longs. It's time to make Christmas great again. It trumps other stories, God become human. An angel appeared, the virgin she feared. Mary was tasked to carry babe to full term. Fully God, fully human, fully both, we would learn. She may well have ridden a donkey to get to Bethlehem, though the Bible doesn't tell us about that particular act. And as for the stable, that's part of the fable. At least the guest room being full, that much is fact. But we're in danger of domesticating the Christmas story, dumbing down the offence, diminishing the glory. The Bible doesn't talk of cattle or kings, though there were definitely angels, and boy could they sing. The father put all of his cards on the table so the hope of the world could be born in a stable. The shepherds were dirty, outsiders irrelevant, the wise men foreign, mystics irreverent. No priest, no king, no doctor on hand, but those who were there bowed rather than stand. But when we keep him a baby we lose much of the story, when we leave him in a crib we rob him of his glory. So in all of the activity remember the nativity, it's the beginning of the greatest story ever told. He's the reason for the season, the one that we adore. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinner reconciled. He's the head of the church and the hope of our land, the son of God and the son of man, the babe in a manger, the divine in a skin. Healer, Redeemer, Forgiver of Sins, the Prince of Peace and the King of Kings. He is the way, the truth and the life. So let's celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Peace and rest in a world that is stressed. Merry Christmas to you all and remember, be blessed. I'm not doing that, flipping. What's, that's not, what's that? Nothing?